got, gotten started. I think everyone's aware of that. Again, it is a public hearing, so we have agreed to allow the public to come in one at a time since we have you know, technically closed City Hall and not allowing the public in for meetings. We decided for this public hearing we would allow them to come in one at a time so that we are allowed able to keep spaced out in here and we'll be meeting all of those requirements uh, due to the, the pandemic and our numbers being higher here. We had to reinstitute that a couple of months ago and we will allow them to come in and speak to us. It is a hearing so the public will of course come in and address us. It is not a debate or an argument. Uh, there may be some you know, questions that we can have back and forth and some discussion, but I will try to keep that to a minimum so that we don't get into a long drawn out debate or argument with anyone. Because uh, that is not the point of the hearing, it is to hear their concerns. Is there a time limit? There is a time limit. The time limit for each person will be three minutes. And Craig will keep up with our time for us on time. That way we should be able to, to keep it moving and keep things civil and going along. All right. With that update and reminder to the Craig. On our last couple of meetings, I have a lot of viewers saying that they couldn't hear us, so we good on the speaker tonight. We tested it out all afternoon, and we had no problems hearing multiple voices. Yes. We are distance from the uh, distance and the masks. That's why I uh, mean, obviously, I'm very spaced out up here. Is why I removed my mask, so I'd be uh, a little bit we've had in the area. But we appreciate the opportunity to have you in person, even through this you know, limited circumstance. And just to let you know, this is a public hearing, so we'll be, of course, listening to your concerns. And we will uh, allow three minutes for each of the speakers. So you'll have three minutes to, to bring your concerns to us. Okay. Well, uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. But I'm here to um, speak on the, the tax rates. Yes. I don't think it's fair for the citizens to pay a tax rate for employees to get benefits. That's, that's, that's. What is your name again? Doris Swan. What? Doris Swan. Your raises should be in your, included in your yearly budget. It's, it's, that's, that's not fair to the citizens to raise our taxes because y'all can't pay the employees. That's, that's not fair. That's not fair to us. Plus, all of these, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking on taxes, but I'm also speaking on the utilities, the water bill. We have to pay our water bill. We got all kind of leaks all over Pelham, everywhere. Y'all ain't giving us no discount on our water bill. Y'all ain't giving us no discount on the, the days that we have to pay. We have to pay it that day or the next day your water off. That's not fair to the citizens. And I don't think it's, it's, it's fair for us, for y'all to raise our property tax just to pay the employees when it should be included in your yearly budget. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Appreciate your concern. Uh, but please, go ahead. As the owner of the oldest business in Pelham, Georgia, uh, right now is not a good time to be adding taxes. Uh, with the pandemic and everything that's been going on, Farming is not the best as it is right now, and we got some businesses closing anyway, and you add more tax on it, and there are going to be more ta more businesses to close, and it might be mine next. Uh, I agree that things need to be revamped, but, uh, and no disrespect, but I only know two people making big money in Pelham, Georgia. And one's the city manager and the other one's Bobby Hollis. <laughs> I mean, you know, everybody needs to be on the same basis of salary. And uh, like I said, I'm a business owner. 
And I don't make near that. And every business owner I've talked to doesn't make near that. So, you know, you need to get things back in a general perspective. You know, it's like hiring a preacher, to pay, you know, paying him a million dollars and saying, we can come up with the money later. You can't do it if it ain't there. You know, lower, lower some pay to help the others. I mean, since I've owned the shop, I took two pay cuts. Why? To keep it going and to make sure that my employees were looked at. That's the main thing that we need right now. You know, just tighten the belts, cut what can be cut, so we can get, you know, I mean, I rode right down from the shop and a drain slap full of trash and the water's all across the road. Nobody's there to clean it out. You know, and we got to do some of this. It's not going to be easy, and ain't going to be pretty. But if we don't do it, uh, you're not going to have anything in Pelham to work with. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you for being with us today. My name is Teresa Jones. I'm a sister of Pelham, and uh, I've been advised about the utility going up. No, I do not agree with water going up. Water is high enough as it is. And furthermore, uh, I noticed when we come up here on the 20th of every month, if you come up on the 20th, certain time after four o'clock, they sit it right here in the office, but they will not take your water bill money. They want that $40 the next day. So no, I don't agree with uh, you all going up on uh, water bill nor anything else. You know, you have to, uh, uh, look at the city. Look at the city of Pella. What you should be doing is getting it fixed instead of thinking about putting money in your pockets. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Mr. Uh, Sat, I worked for the city of Pelham for four and a half years and I was just terminated a month ago. But uh, my concern is over on Cotton, about a year, year and a half ago, I dug up a six inch water main that was leaking. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a hearing about the taxes. Oh, it's a non-agenda thing, isn't it? Non-agenda item? No, I'm sorry, we're in the public hearing discussing taxes right now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Ain't not right. Ain't right. We we not right. Jesus told us today that it was open for the public. I recorded her, okay? I want to know, was, that, was it open for the public? She stated yes. And I it's, want her it's to not, verify and it's not fair for us to stand outside while they voting on taxes. We don't know what they voting on. We can't see them. So it's not fair to us to stand out here. It, it's more than five in there. He talking about if it ain't but five people out here, then the, the, then the five people, then the five people no, can he, go in. He, meant, he said what he meant was if it's five cases per day in the county or more, then the conditions are going to have to be the same for the meeting. That's well, why we haven't been able we haven't been able to do any well, you know, events he, or he anything like that. Hey, tell them they need to set up outside and we'll stand out there and then we do. We got a monitor what? right here. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll see what who exactly. votes for what, and then we'll know what we want to do then. Exactly. We'll, we'll definitely take that into consideration. But as of now, this is this is the current know, format, unfortunately. But I want to know what my man voting on. It, it, it's more, it's more than, it's more than five, it's more than five in there now. It's a whole bunch of people in there, but we can't go in there. Well, I, I tell y'all this because I've been in there. They're not voting right now. They're just letting y'all come in mm -hmm. and speak right we'll be back now. next Thursday too. But so that wasn't the there's thing. Another, you'll be able to speak again before they vote next Thursday. Lisa, but that wasn't the thing. Lisa, Lisa said it was that open it was for the public. To be open to the public. public. What's the non-agenda thing then? That's not tonight. I'm, I don't make. Don't the, I don't make the agenda. I, I just. Got the paper Lisa told me we're open. That's what we got to report. But I don't she make it. I don't know what. Put it put it put it If there is a vote to be taken. Uh -huh. We have a right to see how they vote. That's right. Is that right or wrong? That is correct. Well, that's why we will be post, posting it on Facebook Live and allow everyone to, to screen into it. Everybody ain't on Facebook. Go back say that again. It will be broadcast on Facebook Live so that everyone can see it unless the numbers come down to where we can permit people back into City Hall. 
we set parameters for the number of infected people weekly here in Pelham or in Mitchell County because those are where the numbers come from. We set the number back in January deciding when it would be safe to allow places to be open and when City Hall would need to be closed. Now before you, before you did your home, um, they going to be a vote taken on it. That's what we want to see. It. If we're not allowed to go in there, you shouldn't be able to vote on it, right? No, sir. We've been voting on things without anybody in there since That's January. Maybe not if the people are here. Not if we wanted to know. Yeah. You set them up out here and let us see them vote, and we'll get out of town. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I want to see who's voting what. Okay. Normally, I, that's going to make me determine what I vote. Normally, if you go into a second yeah. session, then you open the meeting back up vote where the you. people can come in. Well, none of this is being done in executive session. This is all being recorded and broadcast. Question. But everybody ain't got Facebook. Okay, so does that mean that we need to give? We may need to look at other options for how we can broadcast it. And that thing there, and we'll be happy to discuss that. That thing there does not work. If y'all, okay. if y'all wanna, so, um, y'all want, y'all want the, want the public to know what y'all doing. Move y'all business to another place so everybody can get in. Okay. A bigger place. A we'll, bigger place. We'll consider that with the council, and I'll talk to the council about what we need to do. But right now, the protocol that's in place is what has been done all year, and it's being done all over the state. Question: To raise the taxes. Now, what is this money going to be for? Who, what, or when? To raise the taxes. Okay, well, I'm not going to get into that right here, right now. You're welcome to, to, well, we just ended the public hearing. That was what the public hearing was for, just come in and discuss that. But what I was trying to do now was address the concern that, that, that we have on the meeting here. It's for the head department. They want a, a $12,000 raise to fire chief that works a part-time job. And he chief. wants his, his pay rate well, to increase. And, and not on that, the chief, I don't have anything against you guys, but again, you a thousand, uh, uh, almost a sixteen yeah. to a $12,000 raise. That's impossible. And That's unfortunately, impossible. Look and at your roles. Look at your, look at this city. Yeah. This city has crumbled. It did. I, I, I hope, well, I'm not going to be able to sit out here and argue I with know. any it's of that. Not uh, not uh, even though, proof. I'm sorry, I will have to tell you that's not fact. We got the, 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 the proof on it. I'm, I'm sorry got for it. It is. It's out it's there. It's out there. We will end it, but we will certainly consider it. I got a question. How come your police chief get a raise, but this man right here that's risking his life every day, and the man come up behind him, they ain't getting a damn raise with it, too? Bar. And I got terminated because I wanted to raid. <laughs> yeah, there was lots of other issues. Yeah, no, it no, wasn't. No, uh, we're going to end this, but I will certainly take it but back to the I got council a question. I got a question, Mayor. Having people able to see the meeting next week. I got a question. Though. I'm not willing to entertain it right now. It's only a when the Christmas pro when the Christmas movie is being shown right here in this field. Why can't this the council meeting be set up out here in this field? It's a good question. Well, it we'll is. It is why they raised it. The chief, the fire chief, he part time. Next and week. Sir. She the way you Let us. Uh, nothing for no. the streets and nothing on that. But the rules are going down. Okay. And we'll do that. This was a waste of our time coming up here. You know, we couldn't hear nothing. Couldn't see nothing. Okay. Well, and, you know, and I, I'm a pretty good taxpayer around here. You are, yes, sir. We appreciate that. So, we will we will go ahead and discuss that so we can do. But I appreciate everyone being here and caring about the city of Pelham. What is he? What's he he's, he's blowing smoke, people. He's blowing smoke. I tell you what. I have a house. I'm back again. Uh, my name is Teresa. My name is still Teresa Jones. I'm a citizen <laughs> of Pelham, Georgia. And no, I don't agree with no raises. No, I do not. The water, no, I do not agree with that. We didn't bust these pipes. Why I say I don't agree with the raises, property, no utility? Because look at the city. Pick up the signs off the street and put them up. Fix the streets. We got gas leakage all over Love and Mitchell Street. People barely breathe. You bring your money up here on the 20th of the month, they sit up in the office, but they can't take your money because they want to get <coughs> 40 extra dollars the next day. If I can't pay $60, what makes you think I can pay 100 Now, if you want to do some raises, all I can say, the one that needs raises, Go get your part-time job. That's all I can say. But we don't agree with you. Get your part-time job. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. See you.